for the abdabs. And the sweats and the trots and the cramps. I'll give you some Lomatil. Great! Lomatil for this, Valium for that. How long are we going to stay here? As long as it takes. Why here? Because no one can get at you and... And... And vice versa. Everything all right, Sergeant? Sweet as a nut, sir. Who's got the stash? Well, spoils. We're charging them about now and Aberystwyth. with. Anyone say anything? No. They're well trained. What about the beach? Gone down London on business. Pick him up later. I've uh, saved you a couple of nice plays, sir. No soul. Didn't see any. You know when I came calling two years ago? Well, you haven't forgotten, have you? No. Because if you have, I'll remind you. No, it's etched clearly on my mind. You already knew Danny. Yes. Where was she? In Paris, at a flat. In the Ile Saint Louis. So you were already living together, cohabiting, screwing. Why try to make yourself sound cheap? Am I? Who you are to hurt? Me? Or yourself? I'm sorry, you're right. I just want to kick anybody that gets close enough. Look, I was wrong. It was something... No, shut up! That's not what I was asking for. <laughs> Besides, I almost raped you. It's true. You did. Where do you hide that bottle? Good question. Um... Ramsey, don't joke. <laughs> Ramsey? I'm still here. Seagulls? Yes? Where I was, I could hear seagulls. You sure? Positive. So you were by the seaside? <laughs> Good. Yeah, comes from knocking around detectives. Seagulls and hens. There might have been a bird sanctuary in the middle of Rennes. Are you sure you don't remember anything else? Most of the time, I was clawing my way across the ceiling. But you said two hours drive. <sighs> Approximately. Was it fast driving or slow driving? <sighs> I don't know. I was too scared to notice. I might have been driving around in circles. You think? Who knows? It might have been Cherbourg. Yeah? It really could have possibly could have been Deauville, Honfleur, Etretat, Fécamp, Lavre, Dieppe. On well, second thoughts, it wouldn't be somewhere too small. Why not? Well, there's safety in numbers. A small fishing village, you'd be noticed. You hungry? Starving. So am I.
Good afternoon, gents. Are you being seen to, or...? We've been waiting for you. That's nice. How can I help? Is your name Beach? Robert Gavin Beach? Yeah. Well, I'm not Eamon Andrews, and this isn't your life. <laughs> Skip the funnies. Name's Brooke. Detective Inspector. This is Detective Sergeant Allen. What's this about? Straight to the point. You're nicked. What for? Offences under the Misuse of Drugs Act 1971. What offences? Well, how long have you got? Possession, trading, possession with the intent to supply, importing. Bullocks. Your turn later. It's my duty to caution you. You do not have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be given in evidence. Why me? It's a clean sweep. You're all in the frame. All? All. You think I'm fannying? Captain Gibson, McRae, Russell, Jenks, and other assorted flavours. Can we have a word? Just the two of us. Sergeant. We're both men in a world, Inspector. Well, I hope so. Tell me, what am I looking at? Ten penneth? Any less than 14, and I, for one, will be heartbroken. Is there anything we can do about it? Are you suggesting what I think? Don't piss me about. I have money in the Isle of Man. Enough for two. Half of it's yours. And what do I do to qualify for this windfall? Just look the other way for a couple of hours. Just two. Sergeant? You bastard, you wound me up. Cop hold of that. Isle of Man. At least we know where to look. I'm not unambitious, Rocky. I'm not even particularly moral. Jobs cost me my marriage, years of sleep. I'm not even sure if I like it anymore. But one thing pleases me. The fact that you and hemorrhoids like you can't buy me. There's nothing you can offer. Not women, money, creature comforts. Not even your taste in ties. Nothing. First time? Yeah. Oh, it's improving. Thanks. Is that what they call bedside manner? Mm -hmm. Two nights ago, it was four times. There's still plenty of time. How long have you known about this place? Oh, ages. Have you ever stayed here before? Yeah. A few times. It's a good place to get away. Like when your wife died? Yeah. I'm never coming back. Not if I live to be a million. They might grow on you. Over me, not on me. How about some music? Well, they have to be soft. Why? They might wake the neighbours. What's your fancy? Boys.
will you marry, Danny? It's a direct question. Or will you? We've never discussed it. I can't believe you. There's a Mr. Danny somewhere. How would you like to go home? Good minute. End of Swiss family Ramsay. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Is that it? Yep. You know, you might remember this place with affection one day. sexual longings you promised me I don't me think that's that... quite what I said and what I am offering go on then tell me <laughs> is a bowl of moo and a glass of cold white wine before a journey. Why is such a rush to get rid of me? I told you it was John's idea, not mine. The 145 from Dieppe. That's what he said. You've been here before. Oh, yeah, lots of times. We always go to places that you know. Well, a, it's my beat. B, if there are three rascals in this... It's places that you've been to before with other people. With Danny. Or Francoise or Suzanne. Hey, hey, this is not Alain Delon you're talking to. Terminé? Le café? For once, I'd like there to be a place somewhere, however modest, that's ours. Tessa's and Ramsey's. Yes? Understand? All right. <laughs> What is it? I think can I have a hanky? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm strung out. You sure? I love you, Ramsey. And now you're packing me off no. home. Yes. No, don't. Let me finish. When I'm gone. Daniel, come back. You'll be here. I'll be there. You won't want me in France again. I know you won't. Who says so? I do. Besides, I won't want to come back to see you and her together. Don't you see? You don't like her? She's smashing, and I hate her. I I've loved you for 10 years. Ten years ago, you were a kid. You had braces on your teeth and you had pigtails. I never had pigtails. All right, all right. Bunches.
Vous prenez quelque chose avec, monsieur Un clave d'os, s'il vous plaît, madame. Tiens. Deux clave s'il vous plaît, madame. You're a doctor, Ramsey. You're immune to things. Like what? Like we spent eight days and nights on that island together. You hated it. Hated it? Oh, I hated it because of the way I was. I sweated and stank and vomited. And worse, I did it all in front of you. I wanted you to look at me and see something beautiful. Oh, those things don't matter. What's one more person heaving their heart into a bowl? What I did see was a person that I admire, fighting a, a hard, brave fight. Admire. Brave. Drink our coffee, shall we? That's it. What? That hooter. There was a hooter? Was it louder or softer? No, I was here. What, in Dieppe? As near as we are now to that hooter. Twenty minutes, okay? It's better than getting gloomy over a second Calvados. Uh, can you... Can you hear anything familiar? Do you smell anything? What is it? This would make a car rattle. Do you remember any rattling? Sorry. Well, now. What about these bells? No? Just something I can pass on to Durand. There's no shortage of seagulls. But I'm worried about this cockerel. So am I. Could I have hallucinated it? I don't see why. If I dream that, I might have. for sale sign there. What do you think? I don't know. It's hopeless. <laughs> Ramsey, where's the car? It's, it's around the block. Drive me somewhere, anywhere. Did you recognize them? No. Oh, I don't know. Why? They're being followed. 
How long? Ever since we left Diab. Can you outrun it? I can try. Pardon, madame. Le train est en direction d'où? Philippe. Oh, don't tell me. I must have seen us walking around the town. Do you know it? Yeah. I know a place where we can go.
Hotel Noir is this way. For English tourists, right? No speaking it love French. Good afternoon, madame. Um, do you speak English? A little. Oh, well, uh, we'd like a room for, for tonight. Is that possible? Uh, yes. Uh, a double with bath? Oh, that would be marvellous. Chambre 125, first floor. The lift over there. Oh. You want help with your suitcase? Oh, no, thank you. That's fine. I, I, I can manage. Maid sleeps with the children. Stylish. Yeah. I always do that. Hey, if you call Durand from here, you'll tell Madame downstairs that you speak in little French. In which case, we'll use a call box. One for you, one for me. Yeah, look, I've had a travelling like that. It really is ridiculous. Police conference in Paris. Dumas not back in his office till tomorrow. Damn. What about local cops? Yes. Couldn't we go there and explain? Fancy, that was a bullet went through our car window. That man. What about him? Talking to the cop, he's one of them. Are you sure? You think I forget? I was fated to end all of these. You think they're mates? I don't know. He's not asking him the time, is he? Do you think the cops are in with them? Well, every cop in every cop shop in Rouen, surely not. Should we try another station? Train met in Paris. What now? One last phone call. Inspector Brooks' office. Is he there? Who's calling? Ramsey. Dr. Ramsey from France. I'm afraid he's not, sir. I can get a message to him. It'll take time. Well, that's exactly what we don't have. Did you say you were in France, sir? Yes. So's Inspector Brook. Where? I don't know exactly. Some conference or other. Right, as soon as you can, tell him we're at the Hotel du Nord. N O R D. Right? And, and that's in Rouen. R O. I know how to spell Rouen. Great. But we'll just tell him that the town is full of people trying to kill me and I need help. I was thinking about Exton. 
some TV pundit once asked him how he thought the government would be remembered. Like a trace of scent on a pocket handkerchief. <laughs> Didn't amuse the PM. Tess, don't look round. Two guys have just come in. One of them is the man who was talking to the cop. Is that what we do? Right. We wait till they're served. As soon as the people sitting next to them are ready to leave, we push ahead and run like hell. I'll go one way, you go the other. Make for the cinema. But sit tight till it shuts. Be by 2 a.m. Make sure you leave with the crowd. I'll see you back at the hotel. T'es seul ce soir Tu m'offres un grog Un verre pour mademoiselle. Une fine à l'eau. Merci. À la vôtre. Santé. Je suis pas client. Ah, c'est sûr. <rire> Dutch. English. A young boy, perhaps. How would you like your bottom smack? By you.
Donne-moi de l'argent, je vais prendre la chambre. Ça va Encore un. Merci. J'ai tout fait, vous savez. Tous les angles. Les cuirs, le sado, le mazo. <rire> Mais rien. Toute la nuit et rien du tout. Alors ça, c'est la première. C'est moi qui paie. Vous n'avez qu'à vous taire. Oh. Ramsey Qu'est-ce que c'est On balaye les rues. Ça y est. Je me tire. Je vous remercie. Au plaisir.
126. Your message. What's there? A body? Dead. I'll arrange for an ambulance. Don't go away. see a GP as soon as you get home, right? I'll send your stuff home as soon as I can. And I'll come back for Exton's memorial. No, don't. Please. All right. Just for God's sake, don't. Please. Don't. Six arrests. We haven't been scratching our asses at home either. See, the gendarmerie have done this before. 
Six draws, two home wins. Could be worse. Let me show you the family album. Most of them you know, a few you won't. Nice looking bunch, aren't they? Tell me something. What got into you in that bedroom? Like a kosher butcher's. You missed one. One more. The guy who chased me across Derbyshire. He's not there. Are you sure? Face like that, you don't forget. Sod it. Look after Tess. I will. Count on it. I do. How much damage do you think you've done? Well, think of it like an octopus. We've hacked off one tiny little tentacle. 